All right, welcome to our last swamp cast of the year, and it certainly was not a way the seniors wanted to go out today, Robbie. When you had uh, John Brantley was just abysmal and then gets knocked yeah. out. Uh, Chris Rainey gets has to uh, basically get helped off the field. Jeff Demps minus eight yards rushing. Was, but this wasn't a good day for the seniors, but it wasn't a good day for anybody on offense. Matt, when you go for fourth and less than a yard, run up the middle and lose 14 yards, does do. that not sum it up the whole the whole game? And you know, it's kind of the way the season almost had to end when you look at it. Things started falling apart when Brantley got hurt against Alabama. Right. They never got really better from there. They got worse. And tonight was maybe the worst performance of the year. Offensively, defensively, they really hung in and played hard. But, you know, only one turnover and you give up four, there's no way to win. Well, I think uh, I think it was maybe the worst offense performance of many years yeah. for Florida. I mean, a long, long time. The only the reason they didn't get shut out for the first time since 88 was because uh, FSU had a late fumble to set them up, and they had an interference call. So their drive, they gained six yards on their touchdown drive. Of course, FSU, a gift wrapped a couple of touchdown drives, 20 and four yards, and then the other last touchdown was a pick, pick six. six. Yeah. So FSU, when you get held to under 100 yards and win a game, you got to feel like you stole one. You feel very fortunate, I'm sure they do, because it was an ugly game for FSU, too. I know they're talking about what a great – Defensive performance it was, but I don't care what defense you throw out there against Florida. Show in the second half, it was going to be effective, and yeah. you know, Brissett was like he was lost again. They can't throw the ball at the guy right now. No, and, and there's they're no, no time to do it. They're not good on offense. Their offensive line is not very good. Again, I, I'm so glad I don't have to watch uh, Rainy and Dems get ra no. tackled by like rag dolls. It's, yeah. it's just, it really. I'm glad the season's over. It's just been miserable yeah. to watch this team play. Uh, and it has been awful. And, yeah, and again, I, I talk about the Zook luck that. that is unbelievable. On Brantley's injury, it was helmet to helmet. It was, yeah. it was the most. In fact, it was double helmet to helmet. There's never a call. Muschamp doesn't get a call. I know the uh, the horse collar they didn't call. The Gillisleys ruled down when he yeah. when he's still going. I mean, it, it's just they can't get a break. But you know, maybe it doesn't really matter. Maybe they're just they're just not good enough, and that's the bottom yeah. line. And Pat, every every Saturday of the year, you watch. I don't care who's playing, Stanford, whoever. It's a you know 235 pound tailback or a 230 right. pound back. You know, running through tackles, having yards in the middle. Florida needs to get that big back. You know. I mean, Matt Jones, I guess, is going to help them next year. But right now, like you said, they go down like rag dolls and get them in the open field. They're great with the speed, but yeah. if not, forget it. Well, they need to get bigger and stronger up front, too. And obviously, it's going to be these guys because it's not like you can bring in a freshman no. and plug them in on the offensive line. So these are the guys. They're going to have to get a lot bigger and a lot stronger and a lot better. Uh, or Florida's not going to go anywhere offensively. The one good thing is, I look when we look at this defense this year, they played pretty well, especially as the season went along. And you know, you know, you look at the South Carolina game; they really played well against yeah. them. They kind of brought them back against uh, against uh, Furman, Furman, and certainly tonight, as good a defensive performance you can possibly ask for out of a Florida team. And everybody's back except yeah. for Jay Howard. Yeah, and I, now I see why Muschamp was positive going into the game, Pat, because he is a defensive coach. I think he saw the plan they had, right? And they really had a good plan. They executed it, and you know, Manuel didn't hurt him with runs. He didn't hurt him with his arm. Florida stuffed the run. FSU's best runs were on third and 18, third and 19, right. or when the game was over. Otherwise, they had nothing on the ground. Yeah, I mean, uh, they did all they needed to do defensively. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, going back to those interceptions in the first half, I mean, Brantley's the one. He, that first the one. one. He, the second one, though, he threw into quadruple yeah. coverage. Somebody There's had to be open guys. in the middle of the field, Pat. Somebody had to be open. You'd think by the time you're in your fifth year and your 12th game of your fifth year, you would you would not make those kind of plays. But he's been making them, yeah. and, you know. But, again, we're Receivers don't help him, Pat. No, Frankie don't. Hammond doesn't turn around in time to catch the ball from right. the set. You know, Frankie Hammond or somebody else drops the ball. It's 15-yard game. They don't make plays. No, they don't. It's They're, part of the mental and mental and physical toughness that they lack, and, and the coach did, called them out on. Them. And he didn't have, yeah, he did call them out. And they don't have Jordan Reed uh, for this game as well, who's been pretty good lately. So, just a uh, recipe for disaster, and that's what the season's been—an ultimate yeah. disaster. There's one more game to play. It's assumed it'll be at the Gator Bowl, probably against Ohio State. That'll be <laughs> Urban's fun. Urban's new team. Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, but uh, I don't know if I want to watch this team play another game, but that's what we get paid to do. Um, I know everybody's disappointed. Everybody is discouraged. I I'm a believer that Will Muschamp is going to turn it around. It's going to take some time, though. This is not going to happen overnight. No. This is not going to happen next year. Um, you know, they've got to start building and, and with recruiting classes because, I'll be honest with you, he was left a bit of a mess. He was. And that's the bottom line. That's yeah. what people have to accept. Yeah, and he, he was hot tonight after that game, and now he says he's going to get hot on recruiting. He goes, I'm not going to be in games the next two weeks, so don't look for him. He's going to be recruiting. And, he's, and he, know, he was, can sell playing time, that's for There sure. was a thinly veiled uh, shot at Urban, I think, today, I think there too. was. You know, uh, where he was talking about we're, we're 
doing the best we can on what we have. Yeah. And you know that we all know that they don't have a lot. Although Urban thinks told me he thinks they have a lot. Or a NFL lineman, he told me. Not on, not right now. I, I don't or see any. Maybe CFL. But uh, at any rate, that's for another day. We'll uh, get out of here, and uh, we may do a bowl preview. We'll see uh, at some point down the road. But for now. This will be the last time we see you for a while. I know you're going to miss us. Robbie, Andrew, Pat, Dooley, the Gainesville Sun saying so long from the Sunshine State.